experience. Uh, I, I had heard about this, this gentleman, um, and I didn't believe anyone until I met him myself. And I think he pulled out all the stops when he talked to me. Uh, so, in high school, this is my freshman year, I've been going, I've been going to center school for maybe, I don't know, just in under a month. It was, it was not a good one yet. Uh, I, was, I was real, real young, real excited to get to ride the bus on my own, all this kind of big deal. It's all excitement and stuff. And uh, so, I figured out at this point, there are two buses I can take to get home after school. It's number two, number three. Number two is nice. It's, it's, you know, it's not too crowded. Uh, it's pretty much direct to my house. Uh, nice view. What have you? Uh, number three. If I miss a two, I hop to three. It's cool too, but it's like it's always a little more packed. It goes past the jail. It goes past a couple interesting clinics. Uh, there's always some characters uh, on the number three, <laughs> and lots of them. Uh, and so I kind of learned to avoid it. But uh, you know, I just barely missed a two. And the three's right behind. You know, fuck it. Hop to three. And uh, I get on, uh, I secure my favorite seat, back left, because, you know, you put your foot up on the tire well. Uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> best, best seat in the house. Uh, and uh, there was no one else, there was no one else on the bus yet, even though I got on downtown. And normally it's, like, totally packed. And so, you know, I, I know the floods are going to come as soon as I hit that right wall. Nobody gets on the bus. But, All right, that's cool. Still, uh, still got plenty of space here. Uh, stop in the jail. And... Uh, <coughs> Yeah, I mean, it was like, no one got out of jail that day. <laughs> no one's getting on the bus. I think this is awesome. And the bus is going fast. It's uh, not going to stop anywhere. And this is wonderful. Uh, and so finally, I'll stop the car with you. And uh, this cat gets on the bus. Uh, and he's wearing a rainbow rain poncho. And just the biggest damn sombrero. I <laughs> So I'm I'm eyeballing this motherfucker who gets on the bus and he, we make eye contact. I didn't know how to do that yet. That was, that was my bad. So of course, you know, empty bus. The guy comes back and sits right next to me, just leg on leg. Full contact. And I mean, so again, the sombrero. I mean, he stuffs this thing in.
One time I took both. Woke up in the desert. Three weeks later. <laughs> Thank you, sir. 